It is chucking it down outside and I'm all cozied up. I just went for a walk actually and I literally just got the most loveliest sunshine. I was supposed to shoot today and I was like, oh, it's so nice today. And then I literally got home and it chucked it down. So I'm in my cozies. I'm actually wearing a big jumper and some leggings, which I'm doing a collaboration with the brand. It's called White Smoke and they are so comfortable. So I should, content should be live by now. So I will leave the discount and the link down below. Um, and I think you can get like 25% off. Don't quote me, I'll leave it all here. Um, but yeah, just feeling super comfy today. Hair is slicked. I've got a decaf green tea in my current favorite mug. I just love this mug. But I did get, oh, the sun is coming out, the rain is stopping. I did receive a H&M haul, which I thought I would unbox with you. I kind of gave you a teaser this morning with, with wearing some of the pieces. So I thought, let's unbox it, try on the pieces, as I am shooting tomorrow, so I want to get it all laid out to see if there's anything I want to mainly shoot. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so as you saw, I put on this jumper. I just love this colour. I think it's such a beautiful colour. It's just really chic and elegant. And it's a gorgeous jumper. I got it in a size medium. Couldn't say that I would go a bit larger. Um, I'm a size between 6 and 8. And I'd say it's like a nice, actually, to be fair, it's actually quite a nice size. I just am so used to going over size, it's ridiculous. But I really like the material of it. It's not too thick either, so it's a really nice layering piece as well, as it does still get quite hot, especially in London, like on the tube and stuff. So you don't want like a massive thick knit. It's just nice to have quite a light one, and the quality is really lovely. You can see, I don't know if you can see, it's got some like really nice details, and it has a nice split at the side. I then starred it with this gilet which i'm so obsessed with i think i would have gone for a medium in this but again still a really nice size of me i just love this color and these two paired together just looks so classy and elegant i really like it so i'm gonna put these on now for you so this is the jumper on so this is the jumper on it's just really nice and soft which i love so comfortable and it just goes below my bum i'm five foot three and then i've paired it with this gilet like so and i just think that looks really nice and you can pair it with pair it with some white jeans or like i have with some leggings or some leather trousers to dress it up a little bit more just really gorgeous with some gold details i think that just looks so pretty and just very elegant i love this gilet it's such a good idea for like it's a really good versatile piece for this time of year as well especially if you're at home and you don't want something to like ruin your outfit you just want it to add and I think this is a really nice piece like if you're just feeling a little bit cold and you need an extra layer on just adding this on over the top it's just a really nice way of doing so and still you could dress this up and dress it down I have a white one of these and I usually wear it with a really nice blouse and that looks really nice as well. I'll leave like a, an example, I did a party wear styling. So it's really nice for party wear attire as well because you could wear like a black or like a silk white blouse underneath and then with red lip, black leather trousers, I think that would look stunning. So yeah, really love these pieces. Next up is a cardigan and it's so cute. I just love this look. I think it's so sweet and it's just one of those pieces you can dress up, dress down, you put this with some leather trousers and you can wear them with some heels also with a little skirt and some tights or leather shorts and some tights and also as well you can have it undone with a little t-shirt underneath and some blue jeans really gorgeous the quality is so lovely i love the piping of the black contrasted detail got it in a size got it in a size small and this cardigan comes in a couple of colors actually gray as well because they're just such good pieces and i speak about cardigans all the time being such easy versatile styles to style different bits and bobs with so yeah so i'm gonna pair this with maybe some flared trousers i think that'll look lovely as well also as well with the gray blazer pairing that with like a gray blazer with a gray cardigan pairing it with like a gray blazer or a gray coat just kind of keep into a color palette like a one style of color like i did with the jumper and gilet just looks so chic and so yeah this is the cardigan i just love how lovely the sleeves are the quality of the material is so soft and cozy and just looks so incredible i absolutely love this cardigan so I will do some styling later, um, but if I do a little haul and then what I'll do is I'll leave a reel 
um, I'll leave my Instagram down below like I usually do and I'll be doing ways of styling these pieces over on that. Just wanted to quickly show you the grey cardigan on as well. I love both. Just really lovely pieces. Also as well, you could definitely put on a little blouse underneath like with like a really nice like frilly collar. I think that would look gorgeous as well. But it's just so snuggly. I just want to just want to live in this all day. It's just, oh, it's that kind of weather where you just want to get into your cardigans and jumpers and just do nothing and just be on the sofa with a cup of tea and a hot water bottle. But yeah, really like this colour. It's a really nice, like, marl, marl grey. It's quite a fresh grey instead of, like, a dull grey. And, um, yeah, I really like this. And again, that's styled with some grey trousers, some leather trousers. The world is your oyster. I think I have found the perfect turtleneck jumper i don't know if it shows much on camera but it is like a really nice like thick ribbed jumper so it feels really flattering it's not too thick but really nice and it's quite slimming it's not a thick material and the sleeves the details but i love it's got this peplum this peplum um bottom of the top so it doesn't hug to your body. So as you can see with the leggings, it looks really lovely and you can put it with some like Chelsea boots um, and or like even heels, like that would look so nice. This feels so comfortable and just so put together. I actually might put some heels on and see what this looks like. So elegant. I absolutely love it. Excuse the explosion of the River Island bag. But I've just paired it with my flattered boots and like I said these are the white smoke um, leggings and with the peplum knit and I just think that's such a lovely just like a Sunday like just cozy slick back hair but you still want to feel and look nice just like such a nice like Sunday attire I mean you could definitely dress this up with a blazer let me go and get a blazer <laughs> so yeah so you could style it up with a blazer that looks really lovely. This is a blazer from Frankie Shop, but also as well like with maybe like a puffer jacket or a wool jacket or, or like a gilet um, or a parka, like a, a barber jacket. It's just such a nice staple like bay layer and I think it's really lovely. I just love the detail of the peplum. It does hug. It's got this um, uh, detail of the weave going in like this, so it does hug your stomach here a little bit, but I don't think too much. But I just love the peplum, it's just such a cute detail and doesn't feel like it's too hugging, which is what I'm here for. So yeah, really love this. I think I got it in a six or an eight, I'll leave it down below. But yeah, just like a really nice like peplum detail which is just very comfy and just feels very snug with the tight details around the waist and the neck. Um, the neck's quite long, so you can adjust it to how you want. Um, I love a turtleneck, especially in the winter. It's just that I get so cold around the back of my shoulders here and the back of my neck, so this is just very cosy. So yeah, really happy with this jumper. With the party season among us, we're gonna get a mixture of knitwear and party attire i came across this kind of like a waist a bandeau waistcoat dress top how cute is that i love it it's just a little bit too um open on the chest which is it's like it's, it's fine but i'd like it a little i think i'd want it a little bit more tighter it's got um this like rubber detail here so it holds you in i think i got a size six yeah i got it in a size six and i really like it i think it's really sweet i've as you can see just got my leggings on but it actually looks quite it actually looks quite sweet um but also i wear it with some like maybe a little slip skirt underneath just to make it feel a little bit more dressy or some flared trousers to make it a little bit more cooler with some trainers but yeah i really like this just i think especially this is a size six i would actually say go down size because i am actually quite big on my chest i'm a 32 double d so yeah i would actually go down down size or like i don't know it just needs feels like it needs tightening or the fabric's quite loose but other than that I think it's very sweet. Okay, I prefer this. Look how cute. Okay, this is a size six. Probably actually could have gone down a size again. What I love about it though, it's stretchy material and it holds me in really nicely. I love the peplum. I think that is very flattering. I think that's very flattering. 
like that. And again, like you can wear like skinny leggings, some jeans, really comfortable. And you can wear it with some trousers. It's just a really classic piece. My light is going, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm hoping it's charged for a bit. Oh, you can see the corset a lot better there. That's what it looks like. And I love it. I feel like it's just one of those pieces, which is such a good staple in your wardrobe for Especially in this time of year when it's party season, everyone's going out to just chuck this on with a pair of jeans that you've worn to work is such a handy piece and it's lightweight so you can wear it with boots and you can wear it again like I said with the jeans or a little pair of shorts, a flared pair of trousers with some trainers. It's just having a statement top I think just does the outfit. You could definitely wear suit trousers, some earrings. This with a blazer, it's just so comfortable. I love it and I just love the detail of it flaring out. It just gives a bit of more of a comfortable illusion of like, you're not worried about bloating. It's not tight either. It's really comfortable, but still holds you in the right places. So yeah, very happy with this one. This is so cute. I am obsessed. This fits like a dream. At first I was a bit worried it was gonna be a bit too small, but it fits like the dream. It holds me up here so nicely. It's not got any wire under it, it's just holding from my chest, but how sweet does this look? Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with this. Again, just a nice easy piece to have um, in your wardrobe for like from work from work to going out afterwards just put this on with a pair of jeans if you've got like these pair of trousers on or a pair of jeans on a white t-shirt and a blazer take the t-shirt off put this on and you're just like ready to go it's just such a cute look oh my god i can't wait to wear this i love it but yeah i would style this with a black blazer even with the leggings i'm wearing I would actually like these leggings a little bit more clingier, but they are comfortable um, and they do still look really nice. And then with some like pointed heels or some heel boots, it just looks so lovely. I feel like a little ballerina with my hair up like this. But then yeah, like with a blazer over the top, you could also as well, if you're, you could definitely put like a t-shirt underneath, like a black long tee. That would look really sweet as well. And yeah. This is very cute. I am very, very obsessed with this. I think this looks so fun, so easy. And River Island is just so affordable. They've just nailed it. And I think this is quite a reasonable one. And it actually looks like a self-portrait. It's 33 pounds. So if I was you, I would run. Because how cute is that? So cute. I'm about to actually do an edit on party accessories um, to zhuzh up your outfits for the party season. Because... Well, it's, it's one of those tricky things. You need to do it right to nail it. Like if you're going straight from work to um, straight out after, then you want to have like, you don't want to lug so many pieces around with you. So having like some staple accessories. Also as well, you don't want to keep buying loads of things. So I think actually investing into party accessories just zhuzhes up the outfit so much more. And then it means you don't have to buy as much. So for me, I love um, I've got these Diamante earrings that I absolutely adore. I think I've actually shared them in pre when I was filming my party wear. So I love the statement earrings because they're just so fun and they just really make a statement to the outfit. Some fun heels, definitely like go for a pop of colour. If you're going to buy something colourful, get some colourful heels or a bag. But I did see, I don't know if I got it... I think I just got it in this black colour, um, but I saw this on River Island and I just thought this was really fun and another way to accessorise your outfit to really dress it up. Um, River Island, this was £27, so a really good staple statement piece for the party season. Like you can see straight away, adding this just looks so much more fun. Um, I could have gone for my classic black bag, which obviously would look lovely, but just that just gives it a bit more of a party vibe um and then there you go so it's, it's it's just a really nice way to like an easy way to dress up your outfits when you don't know how to when you don't want to buy anything else i mean everything's just getting more expensive at the moment so investing into accessories which are going to last you forever and go with everything and just give your outfit that zhuzh it's a really good way to to style up your pieces for the party season also a red lip like Red lips, statement ears, fun bag or shoes, 
and you're ready to go and can dress up any outfit so yeah i picked up this feather i've picked up this feather bag um from river island i just think it's very sweet it does come with a chain but i just love the handle i think that that in itself is just really fun and um yeah and it also comes in a pink as well but i literally wear all black so <laughs> this is going to be more easier a bit more of a statement piece for me i also actually got a pearl bag from zara which was 30 pounds loads of affordable party bags are available on the high street at the moment if you want to i think investing into a designer fun bag could be really good for like the party season which is like can be worn all year round but yeah when you've got these on the high street just so handy so i'll leave this down below as well but how fun this outfit already she's ready to go out even though i'm about to bake probably a jacket potato and tuna for dinner when i wear an all black slick look i always feel like i'm about to go skiing another staple piece i found on river island but it's got like a little bit of an extra zhuzh to it is this long sleeve slim fitting knit and it has some really lovely details it's got on the turtleneck like this really lovely frilly trimming as well as on the cuffs and i love the split with the pearl i think that's really lovely that could look lovely with the pearl bag let me go and get the pearl bag see how much fun that just brings the outfit just like those little classic details which nod which match each other is just so sweet and just such a nice way of feeling like it zhuzhes up an outfit um so this with some leather trousers um with a little fun skirt i have a silver skirt which could look quite cute but just in general i think this is a really lovely classic piece to have in your wardrobe which is a little bit more um extra brings a bit more lift to the outfit again with like details of the jewelry also as well with the gilet it's a really lovely layering piece so with jeans the gilet i'm gonna put you down on the lower it's just a really nice piece but just has a bit more extra to the outfit because of the detailing on the sleeves just looks a bit more high-end and a bit more like you've made an effort it's gonna make you feel good as well um but yeah really love this i got it in a size six i believe it comes in different colors but just really comfortable and slim fitting i really love it and oh just so cozy and last but not least this snuggly jumper which i do think for me needs a belt i'm five foot three and it is a little bit too long on me um so yeah i would put a little belt with it and i think that'd be absolutely fine and then with a little blazer and some boots would look very cute i just love the color of this i really am obsessed with chocolate brown at the moment it's just such a lovely color so yeah that's the end of the river island haul i will leave everything down below but with the sizing i'm now gonna head off to waitrose because it's stopped raining and i feel like when it stops raining you just gotta run and get help there i've tried to go for i tried to go for like two to three walks a day that might sound a bit intense but i need to do it for my for my head and also as well because i'm on my own it's just nice to get out of the house um so i'm gonna do that before it starts raining again I need to go and get some bits and bobs because Helen is coming over for dinner tomorrow so I need to go and get some pasta and some cleaning products, just the usual house chore products. And then I will pack and get ready for tomorrow's shoot, put some dinner on, have a bar, have a shower, wash my hair and um, put some fake tan on because I'm up early tomorrow because I want to go to the gym before shooting with India. So yeah, just get prepped and then tonight I'm going to carry on working. That's the beauty of my work is that I can kind of swap and change when I have my breaks. Um, and yeah, I'd rather like get all the things that I need to run around and do done now and then when I'm all cosy, I will carry on working. So I will catch you guys when I'm back from work. <laughs> I need to remember to take these clips out. Could you imagine? <laughs> Good morning, guys, and I hope you are doing well. It is Wednesday. I feel like this week has gone so slowly, but I think it's because I had such a wholesome weekend that I feel like I've been super productive, but I just feel like this week has just dragged. But I think it's because also as well, I'm very much looking forward to the weekend. I am going to the Cotswolds, finally with my friends Margot and T and 
you know what what is really lovely is so with Margs and T they are friends that they're best best friends with Laurie and I obviously have been with Laurie for like 11 years um so I've made friendships and like really close friendships and I think the scariest thing about going through a breakup is losing those friends that you've built such lovely relationships with um and it's heartbreaking losing like I mean family friends that whole life you've created through that and that was one of the biggest things I was so upset to lose however weirdly I think this has made us stronger like we're making more time for each other we're seeing a lot of each other and I don't know like silver lining coming out of it I think it's one of those things as well that I'd only see them if because they were like Laurie's friends I would only see them if Laurie was organizing these events or trips or dates or things like that or it'd be like oh me and Laurie are doing this let's get these people together as like a duo it'd be weird if I don't know like we just never made an effort to see each other without Laurie so we'd actually never really see each other now that <laughs> Laurie and I are not together I've made such a more of an effort to see them because it, it's the only time I can see them is because I'm making the effort too and they're making the effort too so yeah we're going to the Cotswolds which is really lovely and I am going to vlog it I don't know if it's going to be in this vlog or a separate vlog maybe just like a really cute wholesome one with them um but yeah I'm really excited and we're all Sagittarius girls which is very cute and Margot's parents live there so we're gonna go for Friday and Saturday and just have a really nice chilled one I think we're gonna have dinner in on the sat on the Friday um drink chill go for breakfast go for lunch and then dinner again at the home as well and I, it would just be so lovely so I'm really excited for that so I do need to get packing for that I'm literally going to take maybe three outfits we'll try um but I digress so today is Wednesday and I do have a really lovely day with India we're going to be shooting around like Victoria and kind of make our way to Sloan Square my stomach is in bits I don't know what's wrong with my stomach at the moment it's really annoying I've actually just taken the JS Health detox and deep load tablets which are just life-saving so hopefully it will calm down because I've got to do a gym gym attire outfit I just just don't know anyway so I've got that to do um I'm in my first outfit actually wearing the gym leggings because they're just so comfy so I'm kind of being clever with my attire so the first outfit is this white jumper brown coat leggings and boots and then i'm going to be wearing the gym outfit the coat and uggs and then i'm wearing i actually can't remember oh i'm wearing a black top skirt blazer and this jumper over the top and then a cardigan and then a me and m oh i've got so many to shoot i don't know how i'm gonna do it but anyway but just trying to make sure that i'm like packing not loads of different things just like styling different things um so yeah thought i would quickly show you the jumper and the leggings like this so you can see my full outfit these gym leggings are so comfy if i've got a discount i will leave it down below but they are so comfy and these are the ones with the flared um bottom so really nice for actually going out as well with some heels which i love i think i actually oh yeah i did i did a try on haul with the river island stuff but yeah this is from a brand called we what i think we what really comfortable um and i just love the zip detail it comes in gray as well and just like the like nice bellowing sleeves very cute anyway i am rambling i need to go hello guys so we are mid shooting and we're in in our little <laughs> situation we are very very wintry attire today. It's get look how snug she looks. Where is she? White, which is dangerous. I'm yeah, sure. very white, very all in white, and new Uggs, oh, which I haven't got suede protection on. Is that food? Oh God! Oh no, don't! I've just had my suitcase in poo. I literally laid it down on poo. But we're on our second, third outfit now. Yeah, I'm happy doing this quick. Yeah, especially because we like we haven't had coffee yet, so it's like we're eager to get to the coffee. I'm on my second. We're ready for the coffee. I'm buzzing. <laughs> um, and I'm in I'm in this grey the grey cardigan I did a haul with, but I'm actually I'm just put on my coat because it's windy and it's bloody freezing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go do this one. We've got three more. Three or two more. Three or two more. Well, look at us. So yeah, so keeping busy. 
the sun is shining. Oh yeah, baby. And let's go and get some coffee. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh, yeah, thank you. What the? I'm, I'm at the ready. Oh! oh. I drink, let's hope it tastes good. <laughs> wow. Cheers, baby girl. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> give me love, give me all your love. I actually don't know the last time when I caught up with you, but it is Friday now. This week's kind of been here, there and everywhere with the strikes, cancellation in plans. Everyone is being poorly. Um, touch wood. I haven't got any illnesses, um, but I am a little sneak peek for the next vlog. <laughs> Do you know what it is? If you know what it is, leave a comment down below. Where am I going to put it? I'll just put it here. Um, so, busy, busy weekend. I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog on today or I'm just going to have a really long winded one. But I hope you enjoy. But I'm about to shoot with Tula. Tula's on her way. Tula and Chips are on their way. Um, I have a campaign with a fragrance which I will um, will share a link down below if it's live before this um, over on Instagram. And Tula is kindly helping me out. There's a uh, there's an area in Holland Park which, which I've just come across and I'm so obsessed. It's absolutely stunning. So we're gonna quickly go shoot there, and then she's off home to Milton Keynes, and then I'm off to meet my darling friend Tara for some shooting and maybe some lunch just to catch up because I haven't seen her in ages. And then I'm off to the Cotswolds. So a little bit of a run around, but so far on time, on track, it's okay, we're getting there. Um, so I'm in my outfit all ready. This is a dress from Nadine Mirabi, and I think I actually showed you in my party when I was doing filming my party stuff. And I'm completely obsessed with this piece. I had it in the cream and I absolutely, I need to remove this. Absolutely adored it. Oh, my nose is running. Um, absolutely adored it. So yeah, I thought it would work really lovely for the styling I'm doing today. So I'm ready to go. Um, so yeah, so I'm just kind of prepping the house as I literally will, as I come home from the Cotswolds, my, um, one of my family friends and her mum's going to be here and my mum's going to be here as well. So the house needs to be spick and spam. It can't be like, oh, I'll do it when I get home. It like, it has to be spick and spam because they are literally arriving at the house before me. So I'm hoping that when I've seen Tara, I can quickly clean the garden because the garden is just such a mess. I'm actually embarrassed. Um, but there's just so many leaves. Um, so it really needs like a few hours, so I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna have a time, but I'll try and do a little bit. But anyway, I'm ready to go, so I'm gonna stop rambling, finish off doing my chores, and I'll catch you guys when I move to. I want you. No one else makes me feel this way. Don't know what you do. Hold my hand, could you hold my hand? Look me. That's all I need, and I'll be alright. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. Hold me closer. I wanna stay here with you. Crap! Yay! You're a little oh superstar. I mean, we are <laughs> chips. Chipolade. He was hilarious. Wrong book. Don't honestly, shoot with dogs. Don't Do shoot, with, shoot with dogs. Just don't shoot with chips. <laughs> yeah. Any other dog's fine. Yeah. Well, bless him, though. He was an angel. He was so funny. He was trying to get in. I think he was just more jealous that he was actually yeah, like, not, not in the photos. Attention. Yeah. But we've done the shoot, which is, oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so excited to edit. And now we're going to go home and Tula's off to her family's place. And I'm going to meet up with Tara. So, my little superstar. Thank you! <laughs> Wagon. Hi Tara. Hey baby Hi. girl. Hi, I joined. She's joined, we're doing a little Hi, photo Chips. shoot. So there's a spot near me, yeah. around the corner, which I think is going to be stunning for this. Hopefully there's going to be no cars where I'm planning, so yeah, we're going to shoot that. So what car is this? Oh look! 
Come on. Is this a, the Defender? Defender. Chips. Oh my god, guys, I'm obsessed. It's like the Jeep. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with this car. This is phenomenal. I'm excited to sit. Oh, oh wow, it oh moves. My god. It moves back. No, I'm actually dead. Guys. Oh my god. It's all right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. I actually love that. Chips, what's this? Rock Hello. Hi. Chips. Chips. <laughs> Right, where are we going? No wonder mom doesn't get okay. stuff done when you around. Look at the dash cam. <laughs> dash we're cam. going on a trip. Okay, so go straight and then let. We're gonna go around the park basically. Hi, gorgeous. Oh my god, this car is <laughs> sexy. Can we go on a road trip somewhere, guys? Uh, yeah. yeah, I've got one the whole of December, so we can actually do a road trip. Can we go what? Can we go to the car for the December? Oh my oh god. god. <laughs> Let's go on a road trip. <laughs> wow. We should go to the cut cells. It's not raining. Should we leave this open because it's not raining? Yeah. Chips, oh, what's this? Chips, chips. chips. Uh, where am I going? Straight. Yeah. No, I actually love him. I'm in love. <laughs> you are the most stunning yeah, so kid. Oh, oh my god. Go around this Look part. Look at him. Oh my god. Jesus! Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be cute. Oh, get him, I'll get him out of the boot. Honestly, we're living our little bougie, yummy mummy lives right now. Shooting our little Range Rover Defender in Harlem Park. I don't know if you can actually see, <laughs> but Tara is in the background. Bougie! <laughs> Hi! Hello! <laughs> Hello! I'm watching you. Oh, dude, what God, it's so cute. Oh my God. That was a very productive content day and a very lovely day as well. I am now off. I am heading to Paddington to go and get the tube to get the train to the Cotswolds. And I am very well prepped for the travel attire. It's essential we stay hydrated, so <laughs> I cannot wait. So I'm gonna go meet Tiana and Margot at Paddington now and head on off to the Cotswolds. Quite good at opening champagne now. You, you hold the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Maybe you cups. Yeah, you're very cute. Excited. So we arrived in the Cotswolds last night, which was delightful, and we've just been drinking bubbles, having risotto, it's been the loveliest. And we've woken up here. I only show you a little bit of their home because it's so beautiful. But this is Marg's um, parents' house, and it is like, I feel like I'm in the holiday. It is the cutest house ever. Um, so we've woken up and filling. Sprightful, I think we need another coffee though. And we're gonna go to all the garden centers and go for lunch and some bubbles and just explore the area because I have never, <laughs> I've never actually experienced Cotswolds properly before. So yeah, we're gonna go and mooch around. It's lovely and autumnal and nice and cozy. And yeah, if I take you with us, I'm vlogging. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. We're little country bumpkins. <laughs> Countryside. <laughs> oh, wow. We're in the holiday. We are. Oh, it's on the side of the road. It's gone. It's gone. We're in <laughs> Garden centre. Garden garden. We live in our country. Country oh. bumpkin feelings right now with the classical music. Just giving them a full. <laughs> Wrap it up, guys. In the four oh, by four. Walking into Christmas. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's Christmas. <laughs> oh. oh, what theme am I going to go for? Lappies. 
They're cute. They're adorable. Little glittery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I want to do the. T look, flip the time of the. What's the egg thing? Is that what's it called? Egg, egg timer. timer. No! Oh, it snows. Snow on the tree. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. We're collecting. <laughs> Little mugs. <laughs> Little mugs. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Christmas has a brand. Oh, look at the heart candy cane. No, I can't do it. It's too festive. We've arrived. Look the puppy do. It is the country bumpkin. It's prime. Haven. <laughs> We've arrived at Delsford. <laughs> This is exciting. Be prepared for an overload of Dalesfordness. Stunning. Do you have ham? It has arrived in Dalesford. I just actually picked up this one. And it's got a little pink back. So cute. Tell me what, what you want to do. I'll do it. I've got these really pretty plates that Martha's looking at. How much? How much? Okay, I'm gonna say 65. 355. <gasps> no! <laughs> That's a ripple. What a ripple. We could paint that. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Hi, Janet. Hello, you guys. Guessing game. Okay. okay. Like this. Guesses. Right, pause. Comment down below how much you think it is. I'm thinking 200. Oh lord. <gasps> More? No. <laughs> I could paint that in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we are joking, we are joking. Oh, oh look at that. That is what I want. Creme de la creme. <laughs> no, I just want a tray. That is what I want. That's what I want. Creme de la creme. <laughs> I want that pillow. What's that I could film where it's like creme de la creme, creme de, de la creme. <laughs> to Edgar, Edgar mode. <laughs> Delightful. Okay. When was it when we were going? Edgar. Edgar. Have you seen? We can bring it to you. Seeing everything. Hello, guys. So we are now in the third place. All oh, chips have come out. Yum. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh my god, they smell incredible. So we're at the Wild Rabbit. This place here. We got the chipolatas, we got the bubbles, a delicious happy dancing. Mm. And it's been a lovely day. We've been to Dalesford, we've been to Bamford. Bamford? <laughs> no. Burford. 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 I wasn't was far. Bamford, sorry. <laughs> No, you were nearly there. That's really good. Yeah. But it's been delightful. It's been a very bougie country bumpkin little day. And the sun is lovely. It's warm. It's November and it's warm. It's sunny. It's delightful. Oh, so yeah, we're just chilling, drinking, and later we'll be chilling, drinking even more. It'll be delightful. Did a bit of shopping. Oh, we did a bit of shopping. Oh, I've got to do a haul of my baubles. Yeah. <laughs> I've been going to town, which I'm very excited for. But I'll show you those later. 